And tonight, maybe our sharpest look yet at 3i Atlas, that mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system. And check this out. This is a new image. It shows it glowing greenish, streaming jets. And if you look closely, there is that rare anti-tail. Avi Loeb and a growing number of amateur astronomers have released a new wave of observations on the interstellar comet 3i Atlas. And the latest images, captured between November 16th and 17th, are challenging much of what astronomers thought they understood about how comets behave near the Sun. For weeks, observers had been waiting for 3i Atlas to re-emerge from behind the Sun, hoping that the brief period of invisibility in late October would end with clearer geometry and new data. What they did not expect was that the comet would return brighter, sharper, and far stranger than before, displaying features that appear to defy the physics typically governing dust, ice, and solar wind interactions. As telescopes across the world continue to pick up fresh details, the object is stirring a mix of excitement, confusion, and, in some circles, controversy. When 3i Atlas slipped behind the sun in late October, it vanished from the reach of ground-based telescopes for nearly two weeks. Only on November 6th did the Virtual Telescope Project manage to capture the first worthwhile post-perihelion images. The comet was low, just about 12 degrees above the horizon, and appeared through the hazy atmospheric distortion that comes with such a shallow viewing angle. Yet even from that compromised perspective, the images hinted at the reappearance of a forming ion tail. Three days later, on November 9th, the comet climbed into a better viewing position, and the geometry between Earth, the Sun, and the comet shifted just enough to reveal a cleaner, brighter structure trailing behind the nucleus. Before perihelion, the comet had been moving in such a way that its tail was visually stacked behind the nucleus from Earth's point of view, effectively hiding some of its structure. But by the second week of November, 3i Atlas was rising in the morning sky, and the unfolding angle allowed the comet's tail to fan outward significantly. The improvements were dramatic enough that on November 11th, astronomers captured a breathtaking image showing the ion tail extending roughly one million miles across the sky. The tail pointed northeast, perfectly consistent with the direction opposite the sun. But there was something else, something far less expected. In addition to the standard anti-solar tail, the November 11th imagery revealed a faint yet unmistakable sunward-pointing structure, what astronomers refer to as an anti-tail. Even at that early stage, the presence of the anti-tail raised questions. Anti-tails have been documented before, but they are usually the result of a geometric illusion. When a comet releases dust, some of that material can slowly drift behind the comet's orbital plane. Under specific viewing angles, this sheet of dust can appear to project toward the sun even though the particles themselves are still following normal orbital mechanics. But in November, multiple observers from multiple parts of the globe began confirming that the anti-tail visible on 3i Atlas was not merely a consequence of perspective. It appeared as a distinct and sharply defined structure, substantial enough that the illusion hypothesis seemed increasingly unlikely. On November 15th, the mystery deepened. An astronomer in Thailand obtained one of the clearest images yet, showing the bright, traditional tail sweeping away from the sun and a striking anti-tail projecting in the opposite direction. Both structures were clear, bright, and sharply delineated. The very next day, on November 16th, images emerged that were arguably the most detailed of the entire sequence. These images didn't just show the two opposing tails, they revealed multiple jet-like features erupting from the coma. The central nucleus glowed intensely at the core of the expanding dusty atmosphere, while several narrow plumes shot outward on both the anti-solar and sunward sides. These jets appeared rigid, coherent, and almost collimated, raising new questions about what physical processes might be producing them. Under ordinary circumstances, cometary material should not behave this way. The sun constantly emits a high-speed stream of charged particles, solar wind, moving outward at roughly 800,000 miles per hour. This solar wind functions like a massive, continuous blower, pushing dust, gas, and ionized debris away from the sun. Regardless of the comet's direction of travel, 
the tail always aligns opposite the sun. In fact, this is one of the most consistent and predictable behaviors in cometary science. Therefore, a tail pointing toward the sun should be impossible, unless the geometry produces an illusion or the particles involved are far too massive for solar wind to displace. The new observations of 3i Atlas, verified by different telescopes from widely separated locations, contradict both of these traditional explanations. Astronomers have proposed three leading theories to explain the persistent anti-tail, but each comes with significant challenges. The first suggests that the anti-tail consists of very large dust grains, possibly around 100 micrometers in radius. Normal dust is typically about 1 micrometer in size. A particle 100 micrometers across is not merely 100 times larger. It is around 1 million times more massive, assuming the composition is similar. A dust grain that massive would indeed resist being pushed around by solar wind, allowing it to drift behind the comet and appear from certain angles to point toward the sun. But the brightness observed in the images presents a serious problem. To reach that level of luminosity using such heavy dust particles, the comet would need to be expelling around 100 times more mass than it would if it were emitting typical dust. Yet observations before and after perihelion show no signs of significant mass loss or fragmentation. The object did not grow markedly dimmer or change size. If 3i Atlas were truly ejecting that much material, the evidence should be obvious, and it isn't. The second explanation proposes that the anti-tail is formed not from dust, but from chunks of ice. Ice ejected from a comet sublimates rapidly when exposed to direct sunlight, creating a bright scattering effect similar to dust. If these chunks were thrown in the right direction, they could potentially form a bright sunward feature before the solar wind had time to sweep them away. However, this model requires a very specific balance. The ice fragments must be large enough to scatter large amounts of light, but small enough to sublimate quickly. If they are too large, they will persist too long and eventually be redirected by solar radiation pressure. If they are too small, they won't reflect enough sunlight to match the brightness seen in the images. The narrowness of this size window, combined with the intensity of the observed anti-tail, makes this explanation possible, but not particularly likely. Then there is the third hypothesis, the most controversial and the one many astrophysicists immediately dismiss, but which has nonetheless attracted substantial public attention. Some observers argue that the sunward jets might not be natural at all. They point out that artificial objects, such as rocket boosters, discarded spacecraft components, and other human-made debris, have, on multiple occasions, been mistaken for comets when viewed from a distance. These objects can exhibit jet-like emissions when venting fuel, releasing gases, or undergoing other forms of propulsion-related behavior. If the jets seen on 3i Atlas were produced by some kind of thruster rather than natural outgassing, they would not be influenced by solar wind. In that case, the plumes would shoot straight outward in whatever direction the propulsion system pointed them, unaffected by solar pressure. This idea, while sensational, neatly explains the rigid, well-defined nature of the sunward jets. Solar wind cannot distort or bend a high-velocity jet of propellant from a powered source. The narrow beams observed on November 15th and 16th would be consistent with collimated exhaust rather than diffuse sublimation. The idea that an interstellar object could be technological, however faint or speculative, gained cultural traction after the 2017 arrival of 1i Oumuamua, which displayed unusual acceleration behavior that lacked a satisfying natural explanation. Yet most scientists caution that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and no such evidence currently exists for 3i Atlas. Regardless of the explanation, 3i Atlas is putting on an extraordinary show. Its ion tail continues to grow as new observations stream in, the anti-tail remains clearly visible and brightly defined, the coma, a hazy halo of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus, looks crisp and structured in ways that seem uncommon for a comet this small.
What astonishes astronomers even more is the object's resilience. Many comets fragment or disintegrate when they pass close to the Sun due to intense thermal stress. But images from November 11th show that 3I Atlas remained intact. There are no signs of multiple pieces, no trails of debris drifting behind it. It appears to be a single solid nucleus, still generating jets and outgassing even after the heat of perihelion. What makes the situation scientifically richer and far stranger is what may happen next. Natural comets almost always grow less active after perihelion as they move farther from the Sun and receive less solar heating. If 3I Atlas behaves this way, the mystery may diminish over time. But if it does not, if the jets persist or intensify as the comet recedes, then the source of its activity cannot be attributed solely to solar energy. Such behavior would require a different driver entirely, something inherent to the object rather than imposed by its proximity to the Sun. As new images continue to arrive from observatories and hobbyists worldwide, 3I Atlas stands as one of the strangest, most intriguing interstellar objects ever observed. Whether the explanation lies in exotic dust mechanics, sublimating ice, unusual rotational dynamics, or something far more unexpected, the comet is pushing astronomers to reconsider assumptions about how material behaves in the harsh environment near our star.